Okay, uh, what I want to demonstrate today is editing multiple files uh, with Vim in a programmatic manner. Uh, in this particular instance, I've got a series of check style violations uh, for a project. Uh, now for simplicity, uh, all of these check style violations are all the same violation. Um, if there were different violations and they were mixed in together, you could repeat the same process for each one of the violations and you could even do that programmatically. Um, so how do we do this? So I want to fix all these and I don't want to bother, you know, making it difficult for myself. So what we can do is we first need to get these file names so that we can actually just open them. Vim allows you to open multiple files in one go. So I can give it two arguments or three arguments or four arguments and it will open uh, those files. So if I close that one, close that one, and then we're out of buffers and we can get rid of the whole thing. Um, so you can open multiple files like that. So if all we need to do really is do some text manipulation to get those files, and the way we could do that is run Maven clean compile, which is how I've got these errors out in the first place, grep for the new line at the end of the file, um, which is what, what the error is I'm looking for. Obviously you've changed that for multiple ones. Then we need to replace everything um, after, after the end of the file name, basically. So that will be uh, something like this, so get rid of that, and get rid of that. So we can use sed for that. Uh, is that right? Oh, we need a second one of those. Once we've done that, we can then um, do cut with a delimiter of a space because we've got that error at the start of the line with a space, and then um, we should have nothing after that. So we can just take the second argument from here. So that'll be F2. Uh, and if I run that now, we should get the line, the list of files. We do, cool. Uh, and if I now uh, basically put all that in a subshell, uh, or I could have just done it into an exarchs into Vim, um, we can open everything in one go in Vim like that. Okay, so now I've got the files open. What I next want to do is actually want to record the macro or do whatever I want to change the file and record it so that I can then run it against every single file. This particular instance is pretty easy. Press Q twice to start recording the macro and the buffer Q. Um, press G, capital G once to go to the bottom of the file. Press O to insert a new line at the end of the file. Escape to get out of that. Uh, Q to stop recording the buffer, uh, the macro, sorry. I'm gonna undo that just so that we can run everything nicely against all the files as opposed to running it against this file twice. Then go to your command mode in, in uh, Vim. Do buff do, execute, uh, and then execute, uh, I've spelled execute wrong, I have. Execute normal uh, at Q, because that's why we saved the macro, it's not the key buffer. Uh, if it's a different one, you can use a different one. Uh, and then we can do uh, write like that. And what we should see when we enter that is we see it changing all of the files in one go. It does, excellent. So if we just exit out of Vim, we don't need to save it because we've already written the file. We can see that uh, using git status, we've changed a load of files. So the test of truth is whether, if I run Maven clean compile now, do all of the uh, check style violations go away? Uh, if we're successful, they should have done, and they have done, perfect. So hopefully that's been mildly interesting. Um, that's how you can edit multiple files in Vim uh, programmatically. And this is the sort of thing that crops up quite a lot. These sort of things are a bit of a pain to get the IDE to fix in certain instances. So being able to do this um, in a nice programmatic way is uh, quite useful and saves a lot of time. Cool, thanks for watching. In a while, crocodiles.